I'm Corbett Wall with DV Auction here with your feeder flash for Thursday February the 21st where we have a basis battle brewing here and uh, your basis of course is the difference between your spot futures price uh, which is maturing and what your uh, your cash market is but on your fat cattle we're in we're deep in February here we've got a February live cattle contract it's sitting at 128.32 uh, our last available uh, cash negotiated fat cattle price is 125 uh, for your hedged feeder which is probably not making much money on those cattle anyway because of poor performance, uh, bitter cold temperatures, weight loss, pulling mud and all that. They're going to lose an extra three dollars plus on, the, on their hedge there if uh, if they s trade again at 125 of course we're hoping to gain some ground here but we're we're about time that uh, the guys would like to get uh, an even basis or at least a uh, at least an even basis and maybe a positive basis but that would mean gaining over three dollars or, or losing a ton here on the board here the last couple of days which would make it tough to trade any higher than steady so we're just kind of a uh, brewing back and forth here and we're going to see what happens surely we'll gain two dollars in the cash market this week that would be 127 if the board would happen to back off a little bit from the midweek rally maybe they could get close to having an even basis there but uh, uh, we're getting kind of interesting here because you go off to April it's sitting at 129 plus and everybody's figuring uh, that we're going to get into the 130s here uh, with these lighter weights uh, coupled up with the big demand uh, for for beef here and your packers wanting to step up the kill and uh, and all those uh, those big sales we saw for 90 days plus out front on your uh, on your beef that I showed you on an earlier week visit there but uh, it's going to be interesting to see what happens. Let's look at the board on Wednesday, February live cattle futures up 45 cents and like I said ended at 128.32. April was up 75 cents at 129.20. March feeder cattle up just 12 cents at 143.87. Still trading at a pretty good premium to what cash market is on feeder cattle. April was up 7 cents at 146.07. Your fat cattle trade has not developed at all this week. Uh, we didn't see any uh, country negotiated uh, sales on Wednesday, but we did see some trade on the Fed Cattle Exchange, which is kind of nice to see. I wish that deal would work a little bit better. Uh, anything that's competition in your Fed Cattle arena would be good, but uh, Packers are not excited about getting into that, but they did trade a few cattle on there. 323 had sold of the 693 that were offered had three pens in Oklahoma and Kansas feedlots that sold at steady money of 125 uh, and like I said we're hoping to sure get more than that uh, by the end week uh, trade and I'm sure it'll be another Friday showdown to see what we're going to do but have all rights to gain at least a couple bucks you know and maybe more than that but uh, let's look at a, an arena where we sell fat cattle that that's competitive uh, Sioux Falls Regional uh, Stockyard at Worthing South Dakota and uh, and they have a fat cattle sale on Wednesdays you know I talked about one at Yankton South Dakota on Tuesday earlier in the week but uh, they got a good sale at, at the nice facility there at Sioux Falls Regional and uh, they had a pretty good run of uh, over 1,200 head of, of uh, slaughter cattle there on Wednesday. Had 21 loads of fat cattle. And the fat sold from steady to $2 higher. A uh, good market reporter there, a good friend of mine, Justin Lumpkin. He's one of the good ones that knows what's going on. And you can learn something by looking at his market reports. Uh, works for USDA there for the Federal State Market News Service but uh, he said that the cattle were carrying some tag or mud but not as bad as, as he had seen in recent weeks he said that his estimate of what the dress cost would be there at the barn was from 203 to 206 well our our latest established uh, negotiated dress market was $200 even so that would be a premium to that uh, he also noted that there was a push 
on two-way cattle or cattle that uh, weren't too heavy a weight that there might have been some farmer feeders around there that uh, that have a belief that this uh, cash fat cattle market is going to get higher here over the next uh, 30 to 60 days and they might push on some of those lighter weight cattle go ahead and take them back to their lot and put some more weight on them and hope to gain a little money there and said that uh, there wasn't a lot of packers participating in the auction but with those farmer feeders in there pushing on those two-way cattle it improved the market there most of your uh, fat cattle sold from 125 to 128 with a few up to 130 uh, and a similar price on those that did go back to feed but uh, there's a lot to be learned there on that fat cattle market report uh, out of Sioux Falls Regional and uh, I think it's one you ought to get on and, and look at on, on uh, Wednesday after the report's done there but uh, pretty good uh, insight right there on what's going on in the fat cattle arena up in the upper Midwest let's look at some uh, feeder markets your real-time index on Cattle Market Central, you know, I've been talking to you about that. It's our real-time quotes that we're collecting on Cattle Market Central, uh, put into the same computation that your CME Cash Feeder Cattle Index is, seven-day moving average up through the middle 12 states from seven to 899 pounds. But your RTI uh, late on Wednesday sitting at 141.28, that was up 14 cents from uh, the previous day's close from, from Tuesday, late Tuesday there. Your latest CME cash feeder cattle index sitting at 141.28. So we're putting uh, the RTI together with automated information. Uh, it comes directly off the block from the, from the clerk's computer right into our database and, and, and figuring it that way your cash... Uh, CME feeder cattle index. You got guys running all over the country in uh, state uh, owned cars and state uh, or federal gas, uh, and they're all getting paid, putting that information in, and uh, we come up with exactly the same index value. But let's look at some markets on Wednesday. OKC West, El Reno, Oklahoma. Only 6,750 head for the two day sale. Uh, near 5,000 head of, uh, of feeder cattle, yearling type of heavier weight feeder cattle on, on Wednesday and less than 2,000 calves on Tuesday there. Compare that 6,750 to 7,800 uh, the week previor, previous week and 10,000 head for the same week a year ago. But uh, feeder steers were mostly steady. Feeder heifers, one to three dollars higher and we talked about the calves uh, on our previous visit the calf market on Tuesday was steady to three dollars lower and not a lot of interest in the calves even though it's 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 push all over the country to buy lighter weights but around that Oklahoma area uh, they did have a kind of a snowstorm come through it curbed receipts curbed demand a little bit due to the snowstorm and to that the guys up in uh, Nebraska Iowa in the Dakotas northern Missouri they say that's cute you guys had a snowstorm down there around Oklahoma City but uh, you talk about a couple of big droves of cattle that sold in El Reno on Wednesday there uh, John Cooper sent me a picture of this this is uh, one drag of the cattle there but they had two drafts of cattle same man and uh, sold them in two runs or put them together 259 head of steers one uh, bunch weighed 878 the other one 884 they bring 134 and a quarter and 135 that's a pretty good price on some cattle weighing nearly nine uh, talk about another big string of cattle way out west lewiston idaho lewiston livestock market there 264 head of steers weighed almost 800 pounds 797 pounds at 138 Yes, that's a tick chip cheaper than you're seeing in the central part of the United States, but there's a lot of snow and a lot of mountains between those cattle and your five area feeding region, and I think that's a pretty darn uh, respectable price there sitting in Lewis and Idaho there. But uh, look at some other markets. Dodge City, Kansas, winter livestock auction had a lighter run. Same reason due to weather, 1,800 head there. Feeder steers were steady to five bucks higher. Feeder heifers steady to two bucks lower and calves steady to four dollars higher. 
Uh, best market that I saw around on Wednesday was Torrington Livestock Markets in Torrington, Wyoming. Had around 4,000 head of cattle there. Uh, the, the lightweight steers, grazing type steers weighing under 500 pounds, sharply higher. 10 to 15 bucks higher for sure. Uh, those bigger steer calves weighing up to 650 pounds, steady to 2 bucks higher. Now on the feeding type cattle, not as, not as wild on those. Feeding steers steady to as much as $8 lower in spots on some of your feeder weights of steers. Uh, your heifer calves were 5 to $11 higher. I've been talking about the big push for grazing cattle, guys, and it's running all the way up into Wyoming there. Feeder heifers steady to $4 lower. I uh, had a friend of mine, Jeremy, sent me uh, some pictures of a string of calves that sold awful good. And we talked about the big push on the lightweight grazing cattle. But uh, a set of these calves you see there, 66 head, 552 pounders, bring 193.50. Wow, that's a heck of a price. And then on Cattle Market Central, I picked up some bigger type cattle. 217 head of steers. These would have had to have been the steady ones because they called them so much lower, but these have brought a heck of a price. 217 head weighed 720 at $164. And that's your feeder flash for Thursday.